I think the second point we need to consider is the need to promote industrialization of agriculture. Stronger linkages between farmers and agro-industry can improve supply chain efficiencies and improve access to local and global markets and increase the real incomes of our farmers. In addition, because agriculture employs more than half of our workers, many of them poor, value addition and the integration of smallholder farmers into national and regional agricultural value chains would contribute to much more inclusive growth and development. The third aspect is that we need to support entrepreneurship and the growth of micro, small, and medium enterprises. In Kenya, as I believe in many of the ACP countries, MSMEs contribute about one-third of gross domestic output and create about 80% of all employment. MSMEs have the potential to create positive impacts on the welfare of vulnerable groups such as youth, women, and persons living with disabilities. To successfully grow micro, small, and medium enterprises, members of vulnerable and economically disadvantaged groups, we need to ensure that we provide finance, business skills training, and markets, without which most of them, as evidenced, will fall within the first three years. I am sure that all of us look forward to receiving a report on feasible solutions, especially on innovative financing, for accelerating youth, women, and persons living with disability into the entrepreneurship class.